Praise be Jesus and Mary. Here our Lord speaks to us, of course, he's speaking on the spiritual level, and he's referring to our souls when he tells us that what is within us is what defiles, and what comes out directly from us. He's speaking of our souls, and he's speaking of sin. And even several of them are mentioned here, several, several different sins. But they begin with our intellect, as it were. We have to determine what is good and what is not. We would lean towards what is good, but we can easily be deceived in thinking that that which is good is good when it's actually evil. But here, we want to look at what we choose, and that's in the will. In fact, that's what the will is, is our capacity to choose. But we choose upon what we come to know as the truth, or perceive, I should say, as the truth. And so we have already thought in our minds exactly what we want to do. All of these sins that are listed, and, and once we actually do them, we have already thought them in our mind. That's why we can also sin in our thoughts. We have to be very, very careful. We have to inform ourselves carefully as what is the truth, what is good. And we must then choose it. There it is, when our Lord speaks of defilement, that's what he says defiles, it puts sin in our souls. He starts with the small things, what we call the venial sins, which do not separate us from God, but they certainly turn us away from God. And the more we fall into those sins, the closer we come to the mortal sins, those who kill our life, the life of our souls, those that separate us from God. We must, I, I repeat, be very, very careful. We have to watch over ourselves even in our thought. Now we might think, look at ourselves and think, wow, that's going to be very, very difficult. How can I control all of those thoughts? By ourselves, it's going to be very, very difficult. But with the grace of God, we can accomplish it. We must seek that grace constantly, every day, constantly, and keep praying for it. And our Lord has given us one who is, uh, someone who is the matrix of all those graces, given his own mother to us as our mother. Let us turn to her. Let us beg of her the graces we need to be able to conform always, even in our thought, to the will of God, always. And to be able to place everything in his hands that he may lead us, that he may guide us, that we not be anxious over it, but always conformed to his will. Thus, we will achieve our salvation. We'll be able to control ourselves and achieve and accomplish what God has called us to do. And that, above all, is our salvation, our union with him, ultimately in paradise forever. Praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever.